Hey, David Charney here from eLearningLocker.com. In the recent uh, eLearning Guys podcast, the eLearningGuys.com, uh, we had a top 25 tips and tricks and storyline. This is one of those tips or tricks or whatever you want to call it. The idea that you might be in a situation where you have, uh, due to a brand or the user interface design, you've kind of color coded, you've created a color palette throughout your entire project. And let's say at the very end, something changes that makes you need to adjust those colors. We don't have to go back to every single screen and change all these colors. You want to be able to do it quickly. Uh, this comes in very handy with uh, templates as well. If you need to have a template and allow people to be able to adjust the look and feel of it very quickly. Uh, it could also come in handy if, for instance, you've got a company, let's say a big company that has a bunch of divisions and each division has its own kind of color coding, uh, its own color palette, um, or your, um, your products have different kind of brand colors. You can create one, again, template or one design, e-learning uh, course design, and just quickly adjust the palettes. So uh, this is the sample I've got here. Uh, you can see there's a, there's a main page here, and there's certainly a lot of color going on here. There's a course name, a start button, and then I've got four pages here, uh, very similar pages, but you'll see that this jumps around. Each, each one of these has its own title, and so you can imagine if there were, let's say, 40 of these slides, and someone comes back and says, hey, we've got a new logo and we need that logo placed uh, here. And um, on pages like this, we need that logo placed here. And uh, that logo has, th there's a new brand that we're implementing and we need all these colors to be adjusted. So uh, these are boxes in Storyline. So these are all Storyline elements. And I think people will often, uh, they'll come up here and they'll format these colors. Um, you'll see, you're probably used to colors more like this up here, and you'll see that I've narrowed my palette down. Now the way I did that was I went to Design, the Design tab, and I went over to Colors. You've probably seen this a lot, but if you've not uh, clicked on it, you probably didn't exactly know what it did. These are a bunch of built-in styles, and you can see as I roll over these, the look and feel changes a bit. All those colors change. And what I can do is I can come up here, and I actually came down here and did a create new theme colors, which created this custom too. I will edit that. And what you will initially see is those original colors here. You'll see all those colors. I just selected gray, this gray color, uh, for all of these just to keep us focused on these three. But these are the three colors that are used throughout this project. And what I can do is I can basically go in here and select a new color. I can click more colors and I can click that color there and save. And you can see these colors all change. And that is because, I'll click the start button here. If I come up to the, the usual format button fill. This top row associates itself with these colors here. So if I create a new shape, and let's get rid of the outline, and let's choose this red color from the palette here. So that's now red. And, you know, it's just a red box. Great. So let's say I want to change that color. I can come to design. I can come over to colors. I can right click on custom. And, uh, you know, here's that accent color. This is that red color that I had selected. If I come in here and change it to, let's say, this green. Actually, let's, I've got a color kind of similar to that. Let's change it to this purple color. I'll save that, and you can see now that's purple. Same reason all these other uh, objects change. So let me delete this. And just as a quick example, let's say we were given this new logo. You can see there's three colors in there. I will jump over to the master slide. I will show this uh, little image here, this logo. And um, 
you can see now the logo colors don't match anything else. It's very, uh, there's a huge difference in, in the, the look and feel between these colors and these. So uh, what I can do, and I'll jump down here too, you can see the, the logo is also up here now. It's great to, whenever you use the master slide to make something easy and, and consistent, I, 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 would, I would do it. Um, I obviously I just turned this on in one area and now every single slide other than the first slide has that. So how much easier is that than having to copy and paste through each of these slides? So now I'm going to go into, uh, let's see, design. I'll jump into here and I have already sampled these colors. So this first one is going to be this color. The second one is going to be this color. And the third one is going to be this color. So when I hit save, you can see now that all of these objects changed and now they very much match the uh, the logo colors. You can see the title also changed, the start button changed, and if we click on each of these, you can see that has changed as well. Now the next button is the same here. The uh, title and um, little bar here is the same as here, and that's all the way down. So if you had a hundred slides, if you had a thousand slides, they would have all just updated and you wouldn't have to worry about going through each one and selecting each one and colorizing each one. Colorizing, changing the color of each one. Um, so very, very quick to do, very easy, and um, it really, you, you don't lose any time doing this. The only thing you do is gain time. So I, I highly recommend uh, uh, doing this to your, your project um, so that it's easy to make changes uh, in the future.